Good morning, Coaster Spotters. This is Alex checking in again from Kennywood right outside of Pittsburgh, PA. It is July 20th, and we are at KennyCon, ACES annual event here at Kennywood. This is my first time in 18 years attending this event. So we were here about uh, three weeks ago for free RT with In The Loop, but that beauty right there was not open. It is now open. We have an hour of ERT, and that is how we're going to start our day. ERT is started. We are heading into Steel Curtain. Running two trains today. Very happy about that. Jeff? Yes. Excited? Absolutely. I, this is like, <laughs> like, this is a big deal. This is extremely big deal. I mean, finally. I was projecting August, but they beat the spread. Finally, after 32 years, the United States inversion record was broken. And it's not just a simple bunch of, <laughs> bunch of zero two <laughs> zero or, or like a bunch of vertical <laughs> loops on stills. <laughs> No, not, not, not to, to diss the, the intimins, but or the arrows, but like, yeah. And this is a heck of a cattle pen. Special guy right over there, gotcha. Joe. Yeah. 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 All right, All right. Alan. Yeah. What's up? What do you think? It's good. Good ride. Um, not as intense as I was expecting it to be. No, no, no. Like, uh, but that's probably good because my buddy Sean here, he had a bad night. <laughs> <laughs> he actually had too good of a night. That's his real problem. Yeah. And uh, the thing is, if it was more intense, and we had tons and tons of positive G's. I may have died. He may have died. <laughs> I would be needing a change of clothing. I and I would have to explain to his wife what happened. Yeah. My wife would be like, why do we have to go back to Canastota, New York? And I'm like, I get another t-shirt. Um, no, nah, it's it's a fun ride. It's got some airtime. It's not like super strong. There's one good hill here. Yeah. It's that one. Yeah. I like the double up into the corkscrew, though. That was pretty good. Yeah. The hill or the inverted? Yeah, I have the inversion, that probably is the strongest one on this ride. That, and even like the closing helix thing is not too bad. There's actually a trim there somewhere. Was it? Okay. I felt it. All right. I felt it. The so, banana roll was the, the biggest disappointment for me. It just felt like a cobra roll, basically. It was cool. It was all right. I'm, no, I would say like, trying to like rate it, like it's definitely not like a top 10 contender or anything like that, but. Yeah, but this is also our first ride and we'll see how like, you know. <laughs> of course, Joe gets excited for the beer guy. All right, we, so we may have to have a discussion later about Joe's drinking, but that's okay. No, no, there you go. I mean, that was the guy who was serving us your opinion. Oh, in the loop. I like that. I normally oh, don't like oh, that go upside down, but I like it. Yeah, like nine times. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I don't like one kind of over, over the soda we're trying to figure it out. Ah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Like trains, trains are super comfortable though, yeah. right? Yeah. And the cute, I like the football. And I got like plenty of room. Like I wasn't even stapled. It was great. I like those bucket seats. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't. I can't see the front of me though on it. So like I don't know how high we were. I was also thinking about if Sean threw up, it was kind of pulled underneath. <laughs> and I wouldn't have to worry about it necessarily coming back onto me, which is an important factor in my overall All right. Well, it's either, either way, it's a thumbs up for everybody. And we're about to get on Racer, so uh, we'll talk to you later. this all day long. I think it's worth that, speed and rotation. Alright, so we did a little research. What did you think of Kangaroo? It was cool. I didn't know what to expect because I didn't know what I was getting into. Yeah, it's cool. Like, it's just so old school. It's yeah. like, yeah. More pucks have had long. Well, they have, like, they have modern ones, though, so. Uh, Maury's has one, a bunch oh, of places. Bounces? Yeah, okay. but they all bounce like independently. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. And then I saw that one. Yeah, it's more mechanical. So like, yeah, okay. it's cool. And we're happy that Skyrock gets open after a year and a half. Sky Rush. We, uh, long time since I've written this. Uh, way better than I remembered it. Uh, yeah, I, I love the top hat. Top hat's weird. Uh, back seat, you get like a little bit of air time at the top, the front half of it, and then you get ejector on the way down. Really cool overbank. Uh, really cool hang time, like ejector air in the zero G roll. Then that second drop there. Fantastic. So let's see what Joe thinks. Joe, what the hell is up with those leg restraints? I know. That's that, that's <laughs> premier. That's always premier. I thought they didn't have them. I don't remember them being that bad at Flight of Fear or anywhere else. Uh, no, those are Gen two. Flight of Fear, Gen one. Okay. So this is the first uh, prototype train of this one, and okay. yeah, they're identical. And that, What's lightning racer? It feels like there's like Tucky. six inches of space. Uh, that is that is a chance. Uh, so completely different. Uh, yeah, like it pulls, it pushes lots of pressure right here, but like there is lots of pressure, there's none here. So it's kind of good because then you get all that ejector air time. Yeah. I mean, it's great for having shin restraints, but not a lap bar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It feels like you're being strained by your shins. Safety, yeah. Yeah, but uh, it's, it's a good torture it. device. They just lock their legs yeah. in and you just... Way better than I remembered it, though. Skyrocket I've always loved. Yeah, the second half, though. It's fine. It, it's yeah. Good. It starts so intense, but then the second half is just like... Uh, I think yeah. people are always, like, shitting on it because it's like... You know, there's two two rails. It's not like a double spine or anything, but it's a solid ride. I always love it. Who cares? It's smooth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's smooth. It's great. Yeah. It's fun. So yeah, uh, yeah. I just wish the I wish that little the woo thing it was a little bit more intense, like cheetah hunt. Yeah. I mean, not many coasters have it, maybe because it doesn't do anything, but at least it's different. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Shakers on today. No. Nope. No shakers. 
This one seems better. This one's incredible. We had done Phantom's Revenge, we had done Exterminator, and we did Noah's Ark. Yeah. Let's talk about everything, guys. Oh my god, where do we begin? <laughs> uh, let's talk about Noah's Ark then. This <laughs> fun. They, they did a nice job of rehabbing it to get rid of that stupid ending. And the beginning, like, we mentioned this in the vlog last time, that, that beginning caused a line that was not necessary. Yes. Because yes. of the stupid elevator. That was not that great. The ending was cool, but this elevator was stupid. The tongue being brought back, which is obviously, I didn't even experience it when it was there. Um, it was it was good. It was nice. It was classic, but like, you could tell where it was touched up, where the speakers were replaced, the sound effects. It's fun. Ariel, what did you think of Noah's Ark? Um, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know what I was walking into. And? Cool. Yeah. I liked it. I you know how classic going. that ride is, right? It's not really a ride. It's no Jackson. That's the last one. Yeah, I didn't know. Uh, I was unsure with the last vlog that Blackpool still has their Noah's Ark, but it's just, on, it. it's just on top of an ark. It's just a Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had no idea. They basically hollowed it out like there's nothing in it. It just sits this there. This is it. This, this is, is it. it. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Last last of the kind. Phantom's Revenge, man. Um, totally a front seat ride, in my opinion. What do you oh, think? It's the best ride here. I mean, and honestly, it's, it's one of the best hyper coasters, I think, anywhere in the world. The yeah. first half, it has a great, there's a great difference between the first half and second half where you have sort of the drawn out first half and then the second half is really rapid fire, extreme air time. And uh, I love that ride, it's spectacular. I feel like it's RMC before RMC even was a yeah, I mean, glimmer. There, was, there wasn't really like super extreme air time and steel coasters before that ride and now they're obviously that exists. So Yeah, and they um, just like good. saving the first half was just genius. Yeah. Fresh cut potato patch fries. Only one, right? Other than the compounds is. Yeah. But then we have to go to Lake Compounds. That is the downside. Yeah, they do have them, right. Yeah. See, your points are okay, too. They're okay. Alright, after our potato patch fries, which were very good, on to the Thunderbolt. What did you think of the potato patch fries? I'm not here to topping on five. Oh, okay. Let's talk about that that brilliance there. What there's so much brilliance. To talk uh, it's about. so simple, but like I mean, oh, there's the Bayern curve. It's amazing. I mean, come on, it's the Bayern curve. Like, like why would you be a two hater? in the country? Yeah, it's so great. Like, it's so fun. Um, I mean, what do you? It goes fast in a circle. And simple concept. Very simple, but it's, it's and that horn just gets me like, oh yeah. It's, 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 it's kind of Spots. Yes, yes. Like, yes, this is pleasure time. Yes. <laughs> do you yes. want to do the volcano? No. No? no? I want to okay. tell us that they're good. That's not Hold on, where are we going? We're going this way. Are we, we doing our cred? Again? I need to get my cred. Let's go get the cred. Let's okay. take over. We're taking over uh, fa Little Phantom. Yeah. Uh, little but, wait, 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 one poor fa stuff. What? We did talk about Exterminator. Yeah, let's talk about Exterminator. We did that a while fun. ago. Like, Jeff and I? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's awesome. Like, I, I don't understand how there's no breaks until the, the unlock section. Yeah, we're freaking killing it. It was we were, hauling ass. Was the the, the big huh? drop? We got freaking air time like nothing yeah. else. Yeah. It, yeah. Like, plus, we got we got a good amount of spinning, too, actually. Oh, yeah. Uh, we were uh, okay on it. 
I mean, we were offset enough that it was like pretty much perfect. Was your um, swivel pin squeaking like, oh, like ours crazy. was? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then what was the other thing that we did? We did Thunderbolt just now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super fun. Um, like I said afterwards, sure. it's kind of funny to think that that was like the number one wood coaster on a pole at some stage. Yeah, when I first getting into the hobby like 20 years ago, it was still up there. Yeah, like top um, 10. And yeah, it's yeah. like, I don't even know if it'd be top 50 now, but it's fun. Like, uh, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, maybe top 50 wood, but definitely not top 50 overall. I like how the uh, biggest drops at the end, or yeah. like that lift was different. It's such a weird ride. It's a very like, unique that. layout. Yeah. It, it's like a twist right in the middle of a mountain back, and like there's yeah. a bunch of stuff going on. Um, what else did we ride? Turtle. 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 Like, basically the most notable part of Turtle is that, uh, aside from the fact it's a tumble bug, and there's two of them, they're both in the state, was the operator just would occasionally go turtle. 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 <laughs> turtle, turtle. turtle. Sorry. Like, for no reason. That no, just intermittently. some things and it's hot as heck <laughs> some start talking with a drone because the heat on <laughs> my head but we uh we rode jackrabbit twice in the back car we rode it twice two times that means two <laughs> that's the two <laughs> Garfield's no. What? How? It's Garfield's nightmare. Yes, Caroline. Look at this. Look at Garfield's tail. Oh my god, that is terrifying. Look at all those 30 glasses. Alright, <laughs> so you just threw a band curve again. You have something interesting to say about? It was my sort of an enterprise that just can't get up. It's like stuck. It's like going and going, but you're not flying. <laughs> So you're saying it's enterprise with erectile dysfunction? <laughs> Alrighty then. Well, there's a real enterprise right there. By doing this though, I mean, what are you, there's a third hand down there? <laughs> I never got the hand. I'm confident. 
rides back there and weren't totally 100%. So we just rode Jackrabbit, my third time. Your first today, because you took a little siesta. <laughs> well, that siesta was great for you. Yeah, I could use another one. Eh. So what did you think of the Jackrabbit? And, uh, near the back of the... All the wooden coasters are so different. You don't have to expect it. They have random bush hills yeah. and the metal. Well, that's that's Kennywood. That's just Kennywood. Oh, that's, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's not, that's not normal. That's just Kennywood. But uh, that airtime, though. Yeah. That, that one pop is, like, amazing. All right, Ghostwood Estates, what did you think of that dark ride? Cool. I like that. It was fun how every uh, thing you hit did something. Yeah, it's really interactive. And no cardboard cutouts, which yeah, is, like... Cake. Yeah, the, the cake trigger is really cool. Yeah, like, go like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, unfortunately, our, everything, our guns work, but we weren't getting score, so that... I beat you. Yeah, we'll see about that whenever we come back to this park, which isn't going to be... Uh, it's not going to be forever, but not not next year, that's for sure. All right, we're going to ride the uh, Thunder Roll again. We're going to do a backseat ride this time. Backseat? All righty, backseat ride this time. All right, so update here. Uh, it's Alex and Ariel, and uh, that's left. That's all we got left. Uh, the survivors. Yeah, Sean left early because Sean, Sean had a had a night last night, <laughs> and Joe was just you know Joe went with him. Uh, Alan kept with us until about an hour ago. Uh, looks like he's not returning. And then Jeff, he's driving back tonight to uh, Eastern PA. So, Ariel and I are the uh, lone survivors. So. And uh, this line is very nice. It is walk on. Walk on. I think a front seat ride is in uh, the works. What do you think? There's absolutely no reason to ride this in the back seat. Back seat's terrible. So. Trust me, I'm an expert. We have many rides on free RT to discover that. So, here we go. Hi, Phantom. Yeah, how did that not, like, break the bank? Jesus. We just took our final ride on Steel Curtain, our third ride. Fortunately, the ride reopened just for a little while after a uh, lightning storm came through. And uh, got a night ride on this thing. And I tell you what, this thing has warmed up since the morning. You know, we rode it first at 9.30 this morning. So after all that, man, it's running real good. The valleys are very powerful G-forces, great negative G-forces. And as Ariel pointed out, really good head choppers all over the place. I don't know how I didn't notice them, but, but as soon as she pointed those out, I was all like, those all those bars up there are ridiculous with the head choppers. It is quite a head chopper ride. So, uh, yeah, that's a thumbs up for me. That's way better than the first ride. I'm so glad I got another ride on it. That really propelled it up on my list. I think I still like the Phantom just a little bit more, but it's really hard to compare that ride to this one since that's a hyper coaster and this is a, a you know, a nine inversion looping coaster. It's very, very different type of ride, but it's definitely one, two of a steel Phantom's Revenge and that. All right, we have ERT. All right, so it's about two years later and I'm finally editing this, but we didn't record after this. The ERT was great. Not as good as the free ERT that we had had the previous month, but that was because we were friends that we enjoyed being with. But regardless, Fans of Revenge night rides are just incredible. You must do that. It's up there with the Beast as one of the best night rides. But I don't know when we return to the park. I'm a little off put by all the rides that they removed this past year and just the operations of that park chain that it's owned by. So thanks for watching. This has been Alex for the Coaster Spotlight. Comment and subscribe and we'll see you next time.